Hello and welcome back to our channel. I have been getting a lot of messages and comments from our subscribers that they have completed their Power BI PL3 Edit Certification exam and have passed the exam with great scores. A lot of people have asked me questions on what is the next step or what they can do more to get into a business analytics role or a Power BI Analyst Specialist role. So today I will be sharing with you all few strategies that you can follow for getting your first Power BI Analyst Specialist job. So let's first talk about LinkedIn job search. If you want a Power BI Specialist Consultant role, you need to first identify and research different kinds of role that are available and what are the key skills that recruiters, companies are actually looking for while hiring. The best place to do so is to go to LinkedIn and use keywords like Power BI Specialist, Power BI Analyst, etc. Go to the roles and responsibilities, skills requirement sections very carefully. You need to read and go through at least five to 10 job listings to understand skill gaps and what all is required to get hired for such roles. So let's quickly go through such postings and identify what skills do we really need to get hired. So now we are here on LinkedIn and let's use the keyword Power BI Analyst and let's go to jobs, right? All right, and we are using India as a location. So let's see, there are so many job postings that are available for a Power BI Analyst role. Let's see one of the first posting that we have. Now, you see, you have a description about the job. Then you have location as Hyderabad, experience of three years, role summary. Now, key thing we need to look at is responsibilities. Engage with cross-functional teams, design, develop, maintain reports, multi-dimensional data models using Power BI, Tableau, and Excel. Harness the power of DAX, M code, Python. So these are all the keywords that you are seeing, right? Craft and deliver high quality presentations, see suit stakeholders, lead the analysis, design and execution of business intelligence solutions, partner with IT, cloud and finance teams, continually define and iterate BI tools, provide training and mentoring to colleagues, right? Now, let's see in terms of qualifications and skills, what do they need? They need master's degree or a bachelor's degree in business intelligence, business management or IT, right? What they need in terms of core hard skills is like three years of experience as a business analyst, uh, proven expertise in Power BI, Tableau, Excel, PowerPoint, strong experience in DAX, M code, Python for data analysis, excellent written and verbal communication skills, certification in business analysis, business intelligence or Power BI, right? Now let's look at another one of the job opportunities. Let's see, uh, let's see GenPact. So they also have written Power BI and Python, business and analyst insurance analytics, right? So the key skills that they need is CSQL is coming up, SSRS, SSIS experience is coming up, right? And anything else that you could see, Python, R, GLM, linear regression, survival analysis, time series, segmentation, cluster analysis, decision trees, random forest, right? So these are some of the skills that are needed for this kind of job. So these are the keywords that you need to, you know, think about and you need to identify whether you have these skill sets or not. So not just the Power BI certification, you need to know a little bit about how data analysis is done. What are the techniques that are used for data analysis, right? So the languages like Python, SQL. So all these are skills that are skill gaps which you can identify and work on them so you can gain knowledge and experience. Now let's look at another role, Power BI Analyst Contract role, right? It's Cap Talent HR, it's in Chennai. Let's see, they need five to seven years of experience. Technology that they need is Power BI, SSAS or Tabular, SQL and DAX, right? So they also need data modeling, dimensional data modeling, data visualization and design. So these are the keywords that are keep getting repeated in job descriptions. So if you use these keywords, your it is high possibility that your resume will get picked up. They also have used DAX, SQL Server, SSAS, right? Data visualization. So these are the keywords that you actually need. 
So let's talk about project portfolio. Next thing that you need to do, especially if you are a fresh college graduate or trying to switch to a Power BI role from another professional background, is that you need to have a project portfolio. Even though I'm a seasoned professional with close to five years of experience as a BA, I still showcase my project portfolio to hiring managers during interviews, just to give them an idea of the depth of my experience and technical expertise. So just choose a good data set and try to build a Power BI dashboard which can showcase all the skill of Power BI capabilities and your strengths. A project portfolio is also advantageous because then in interviews, you can control the kind of questions that will be asked by the hiring managers as they would mostly revolve around your portfolio and how you design your dashboards. What challenges did you face? Why did you make certain specific choices? And what did you learn from the project? If you are an experienced professional, you might think that a project portfolio is not needed for me as I have tons of real project experience. That's really good, but a project portfolio will definitely differentiate you from other candidates who might have more experience than you at, as you can utilize the, this opportunity and show hiring managers what unique set of skills you bring to the table and how much effort you have made to prepare for this interview. You can also try to choose projects which could in some way or the other replicate the challenges you faced in real project at your previous company and then showcase how you troubleshoot those problems and design a unique solution for your client. Well, currently, I am also working on a project portfolio just for fun. I would try to share that with you all here on my channel. So please stay tuned and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. I am going to show you an old portfolio that I made when I was a fresh out of college student here in Canada. It's my portfolio that helped me get hired and differentiated me from other students and experienced professionals competing for the same role here. So let's go to my LinkedIn profile. So this is how my LinkedIn profile looks. Now, if you scroll down, you will go to the featured section and then I have to go back a lot because this is a portfolio that I created when I was a student. So this is the portfolio that I created. This was on GitHub. It's a website that I created. Let's go there. So this is how my portfolio looks it has first my introduction like who I am what's my name my phone number my LinkedIn ID my email ID and location then it has a link to my resume again that's an old resume that I had when I was a student then this is about me hi I'm a business analyst with three and a half years of experience and all that and then some kind of description as to what my skills are then it has a wheel where i've added all the skills that i know about right so it's an interactive way of seeing all the skills that i have then it shows me my technical skills so it shows me all the tools that i know right what are the skill sets in terms of languages that i knew at that time right then it talks about my work experience so i was an intern at laugh then i worked as a technology controls business analyst at jbmark chase then i worked at deloitte right then it talks about my college projects here if you hover over these cards they flip and then they give you a brief description of the what was the project about so these are the three projects that i did right and then you have artifacts so you have a ppt you have a ui ux which i've done on figma or for the other project i've created a youtube video which i uploaded right and for another project i have also uploaded another youtube video so yeah and then you it talks about a little bit about my education right if i scroll up you can go back to top and then on the top we have a navigation so it takes you to all the sections if you click right so this is a kind of a small portfolio that you can create and show it to recruiters or hiring managers this will definitely differentiate you from other candidates who might have similar kind of skills or maybe more skills and more years of experience than you but they might not have a portfolio so this is how you differentiate yourself from other candidates next strategy is obviously working on your resume for power bi roles if your resume doesn't have the right language and skills it's hard to get noticed by recruiters so yes a power bi certification is a good eye-catching thing to have on your resume 
but what are the skills that a recruiter and hiring manager is looking for? Have you thought about that? Always use a few important keywords like SQL, Power Query, Tax Data Modeling, Security and Permissions, Performance op Optimization, etc. in your resume as these are key skills that are needed to perform your job duties in a Power BI role. My wife Harshita has made a video and shared few tips for building a great resume. Please go check out that video if you are new to making resumes. Also, please book a one-on-one -on -one session with me on my TopMate account if you want me to look at your resume and give you some feedback on how to optimize it for your next BA or Power BI Data Analyst role. Well, now let's suppose you have a good resume. You have all the necessary skills that are needed for the role. Even you have a great project portfolio to show. But still, getting a good job nowadays is extremely difficult in any field because there is too much competition. What I, whatever I am sharing here is no industry secret and everyone has great resumes, certifications and skill sets. So then how do you beat them all and get the job for which everyone is fighting for? What you need to do is networking. The more people you know in Power BI or data analysis and visualization field, the better your chances are that somebody will refer you and push your job or application forward to hiring managers. You can use LinkedIn again and search for all the people who are working in your dream companies and are part of an exciting Power BI projects. Talk to them, take their advice, get feedback on your resume from them. If you talk to at least 25 to 50 people, at least some would either refer you or help you get in touch with other people in their organization who might have a role for you. All you need is just one right opportunity. Personal branding is also very important nowadays. You must have seen people sharing their thoughts, new Power BI features, projects, online Power BI challenge participants posting their achievements. Just talk to them, get their advice and try to post every week something related to your learning journey or challenges you are facing in building your project portfolio. This would help you get noticed by recruiters and hiring managers and Power BI influencers on LinkedIn. Who knows your next opportunity is just waiting for you and people reach out to you directly for job roles that are not even posted on LinkedIn yet. I personally do the same. Some of the influencers I have found are really good and you can follow them too. Number one is Gustav Dudek. The other one is Santana Lakshmi Ponarasan. And me, obviously, even though I'm not very active on LinkedIn yet. Well, the last thing that I would discuss in this video is the importance of practicing and enhancing your Power BI skills. It is very important that you keep track of all new updates that are coming to Power BI and keep brushing up your skills to always stay ready for an interview. Also follow the official Power BI channel on YouTube to get the latest and greatest feature updates and news on Power BI. Other certifications to consider are mostly on Microsoft Azure side. You should at least aim for getting certified in AZ900, which is Microsoft Certified Azure Fundamentals, and DP500, which is Microsoft Certified Azure Enterprise Data Analyst Associate. As these certifications will open up more opportunities for you in Azure Cloud Space. These certifications are also in my radar list this year or as early as next year. Well, I hope you like this video and gain some information on what to do next after getting certified in Power BI. As always, please like and share this video with your friends, family and colleagues. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such content. And until then, take care and bye bye.